I got a hold of a Nurenko Hunter of uh, Circle 386 or something along those lines. And it's not a standard AK, um, because it takes no standard furniture, has no handguard retainers or anything like that. It's a very interesting piece, and they're supposed to be very accurate. However, I found out differently. Um, so anyway, step one was to make a receiver adapter block for it, so I could put standard stocks on it. As you see here, I'm just cutting down a bridge port I have, um, using carbide end mills, because that's what I had available. I used this stock as a uh, template for what the receiver should, or block should look like. Um, so I just cut it out of aluminum. I had to shorten it a little bit, the lower step there, uh, that my thumb's on right now. I had to shorten that a little bit, um, in length because the bolt was interacting with it. I'm just cutting the angle, which is 27 degrees, uh, or actually it's 63, or no, no, it is 27. 27, 63 is 90, the receiver is 63 degrees. Now I'm putting a radius on it so it'll fit inside the receiver, the inside of the receiver is radius. I'm cutting out the tang slot. And um, a rivet hole right here, but that rivet hole is unnecessary. I'm doing just a little bit of hand fitting, as you see with the black sharpie, and there it fits. So that's just about done. And as you see here, that little bit of metal needs to be removed, uh, so your bolt carrier doesn't interact with it when you're firing. Here I'm just fitting the magazine, or excuse me, um, the selector. I'm just fitting it so it fits flush with the dust cover there. And here I'm punching out the pins for the Ban Arrow magazine release on it, similar to an SKS. Just punch out that one pin, keep, hold, keep a hold of your magazine release so it doesn't go flying out, make some flat spots on your rivets with a Dremel tool, as you can see here. That's so you can center drill them and, and then drill them out. So you see my center drill, and just, you know, taking care of that. And now you see they're center drilled so I can drill them out now so my drill bit won't walk. But what you actually want to do is just uh, counter bore them with an end mill. And then drill through them, or drill through them, then counterbore them, um, so they lose all their pressure uh, holding them into the receiver. And you could just pop the plate off a lot easier, and then just tap them out of the receiver with with a center punch or something. Here's where it gets a little complicated. Um, you got to flip the receiver trigger guard down, so you can get access to those two rivets um, through the top of the receiver because you can't reach them. Your, your drills are probably too short, and you'll the quill of your drill press will connect with your uh, trigger guard, and you don't really want that. So you just counter bore them out, or um, excuse me, plunge cut them with a end mill, and it'll break the heads off the rivets inside of the receiver, <clears throat> and just remove the trigger guard, and then that's trash metal or whatever you want to do with it. Um, use those two forward hole or those two holes behind the magazine or magazine well. Use the two holes behind the magazine well um, to line up with your new trigger guard. The two rear holes will actually line up with that. I'm using a Bulgarian trigger guard in mine. Uh, but yeah, just use those and then describe your lines for them. Uh, for your two new forward holes of your magazine release, as you see here. Um, I believe those holes are about 160 to 170 thousandths apart. But it's it's really uh, whatever the diameter, or excuse me, whatever the the measurements on your trigger guard are. Just use it to, just bolt it in there and, and then scribe the two lines uh, with, some little, with a little bit of bluing in a scribe. Um, this is rather straightforward. Right here, the, the metal isn't too hard, so you know, just center drill it, and then drill your holes uh, at four millimeter. As you can see, what I'm doing, that's what I'm doing right here. Just drilling it through. You know, a little bit of Molly D, good stuff. As you can see here, I'm testing the magazine release and trigger guard onto the rifle. Um, use the rear trigger guard hole in the trigger guard itself to scribe your hole uh, to drill. The hole immediately behind it is for a pistol grip. Open it up to six millimeters. As you can see here, I did that. I had to shorten the receiver block just a little bit uh, so I could attach a six millimeter screw and a nut to hold the pistol grip in. It seems to fit just fine. I didn't want to use a standard um, receiver, or excuse me, trigger guard or pistol grip nut because I didn't want to spend five dollars. I still have to find furniture for the rifle though. It's uh, it's it's somewhat of an issue, giving its uniqueness.